Good morning and welcome to the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. I'm NASA's Sandra Jones and we're bringing you live coverage from Mission Control Houston of the upcoming return powered flyby in which Orion will fly behind the moon and perform a burn utilizing the orbital maneuvering system to send it on a trajectory back towards Earth. As you can see from this telemetry-driven animation, Orion is now 202 miles away from the lunar surface. We were tracking a loss of signal about 2 minutes and 40 seconds from now, but we are hearing that we did get that loss of signal a little earlier than expected, but that is to be anticipated from time to time. So now the next major milestone that we'll look ahead towards is the return powered flyby burn less than five minutes from now. While we are traveling behind the moon, we do not have signal with, with the spacecraft because the moon is blocking the connection to the deep space network. We anticipate that loss of signal to last about 30 minutes. And we do expect the burn to be underway. Again, this is a 3 minute 27 second long burn. 
and we do expect the burn to be complete at this time. Again, because we are behind the moon and do not have signal with the spacecraft, we will not be able to confirm until Orion comes back around the other side of the moon. We are anticipating that acquisition of sig signal about 24 minutes and 45 seconds from now. And we do have confirmation of an acquisition of signal on the Deep Space Network in Goldstone at 11.12 a.m. Central. You are seeing a view on your screen of the lunar surface as well as Earth. For Orion, this is not a goodbye, but a see you later to the moon, our nearest celestial neighbor, as we begin to get our first glimpse of an Earth rise coming into frame. In this view, we see 8 billion human lives all existing upon our pale blue dot, our blue marble, our very own spaceship Earth. And after a long journey, Orion is now coming home.